welcome back to my youtube channel so this video has been so highly requested i don't know why i haven't filmed it before now but it is a video all on self-love and how to love yourself so as you all know if you obviously watch my law of attraction videos self-love has been something which has been a kind of ongoing journey for me the last year of my life um when I started this journey in April last year, so actually nearly bang on a year, um, I was in a really different place. Um, like I said, this is like the 11th video in my Law of Attraction series, so there's lots of others which kind of talk about how I got into Law of Attraction, how to get started, etc. But this video is specifically on how I grew love for myself, respected myself, and you know, got into the right vibe to manifest amazing things. So when I started off, I had no love or self-respect for myself. I was probably the unhappiest I've been in five years. And I just, I hadn't loved myself for those five years. I hadn't respected myself. I hadn't respected or been grateful for anything in my life. And I think it was maybe circumstantial or the fact that I hadn't addressed those issues in those five years that it just hit such a catastrophic boiling point as such that it all kind of bubbled up at once and it was just like kind of rock bottom effectively I hit rock bottom and from that I've built upwards in an incredible way and I think rock bottom is actually probably one of the best places to be because you can just build up an entire new life you can build up an entire new way of living and you can just you can be you again and because I had nothing I mean I say I had nothing I had you know friends family uh, my businesses I had stuff but emotionally I had nothing left and I think because I had nothing left I had nothing to lose I could just build on what I felt in my heart was right and what was right and what I felt called to building which was obviously being honest and being grateful and being a better person than what I was before. So the reason why you get into these funks of not loving or respecting yourself is because you're not being grateful. And I tolerated a lot of bullshit in my life um, through friends, boyfriends, families, you know, I tolerated a lot over those five years, which, you know, made me not respect myself. I allowed people not to respect me because I wasn't respecting myself and I wasn't respecting them. So when everything kind of blew up in my life and I was suddenly left alone and felt probably the worst I felt in my life, it was really hard to get in the right vibe with the law of attraction because I was like, why me? I was still in victim mode. I was still in, you know, it was so fresh. It was hard to just snap out of it and be like, hey, I love myself because I didn't, you know, I always wanted to lose weight. I wanted to change the way I looked. I wanted to change everything about me to become a person who people would love, but I didn't even love myself. So how could I become a person who, people would love when I didn't love and respect myself. It just, it was a vicious cycle and it never ever would have worked. When I started, what I, well, I read the magic obviously as you all know, I bang on about it so much. I read the magic and that helped me a lot because it had some gratitude practices in there. It had practices to like stand in front of the mirror and be like, you are beautiful. Like I am beautiful, I am bold, you know, affirmations and stuff. And like actually just looking at myself and realizing that I am a beautiful person and that I just massively got lost in my life and that all it really took was for me to save me, not someone else to save me. And it in that realization, it gave me so much empowerment and so much control over my life. Like I felt like my life hadn't had control for so many years and all it took was for me to just take back that control and take back that love for myself and actually be like, you know what, Emma, you are an amazing person. Like, 
yeah, you may not have been a perfect person, but who is perfect? Like we make mistakes, we do some stupid stuff in our life and you know, with the influences you had in your life for five years, I think you're allowed to make some mistakes. So I think it was about giving myself, like allowing myself to make those mistakes. So for instance, you know, with what happened with my exes, I blamed myself and it's like, well, hang on, stop beating yourself up for what happened. Stop beating yourself up for everything that's happened. And I learned to take responsibility for what I had done in my own life. So I took responsibility for what happened with my exes because, you know, I contributed to that as well. I allowed it to happen. I may not have deserved for what, I may not have deserved what happened to happen to me, but I took accountability for allowing that to happen to me and allowing myself to be with people who were so wrong for me and I just stayed because I felt it was my only option. So really you have to give yourself that forgiveness and learn to forgive yourself for, like just don't be so hard on yourself. I think that's the first step. Like we all make mistakes, we're not perfect, but you know what? If you can accept what you've done and take responsibility, forgive and love people, then you're on the right track no matter what. So the next step was really forgiveness. So I had to forgive these people for hurting me in ways I'd never imagined. And that was new because if anybody who would have known me from a year or so ago, I was not a forgiving person. Like if somebody did something to me, I was like, sod you. Like I would not have forgiven anybody. I would have just let that anger fester and I would have moved on, but I would have had anger inside of me still and like resented that person. And learning to forgive someone who has like done something unforgivable is like it sounds ridiculous and you know obviously people watching this um like you know people have asked me to do a video on how to get over a bad breakup and I will do that but I just don't feel that right now is the right time for me to film that video it's not that I'm not over it it's the fact of I'm still learning to forgive and I just don't want it to come across bitter and I don't want it to come across in a negative way at all. So for me, I will film it, it'll probably be in the next few months, but I don't feel that now is the right time, especially with it coming up to a year, I don't feel it's the right time to film that video. But forgiveness is so important, Forg forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of others, and you know, even if like, obviously my example is probably so low key, um, but you know, even if what's happened in your own life is so extreme and so hurtful, you've got to forgive. And the way I learned that was really to try and understand why that person had done those things to me. And it was kind of, well, it's not an excuse. I don't think I was giving them an excuse or letting them off from what had happened. I think it was more a just fact of I had to do it for myself or my own sanity. I kind of looked at the whole relationship and I definitely wasn't happy that person wasn't happy and I'm not saying that it was right to do that like I never think that cheating is right if you're not happy you just leave you don't cheat on someone but I can understand I guess why that situation happened and really like sat here a year on like when you go through these difficult situations whether it's a relationship breakdown divorce like any situation, you never see the bigger picture. Like my mum said to me, in six months time, like none of this is even gonna matter. Like you won't even give a shit. And I was like, mum, you don't even understand how I feel. Like, I was like, no one's understanding how I feel. They're just telling me it's gonna get better and it's not gonna get better. And, and oh my God, it got better. Like, and I got to the six month mark and I was like, do you know what? Mum was so right. Like none of this does matter. And then I thought in another six months, none of what's happening now is even gonna matter. And now I'm sat at the year stage, none of it does matter. So I think you just gotta look at it in like a six month cycle of, 
in six months, none of this is even gonna matter. Like I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be so fulfilled. And when you look at it like that, it releases that, it gives you the forgiveness and it releases that block almost you're giving yourself of, it's never gonna get better and all of that. Sat here a year on, it was the best thing to ever happen to me. And you guys know that. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. So I look back and I think I was set free. Yes, it hurt, but it was the best setting free ever. And what I have in my life now is far greater than anything I had a year ago. Really, that's what helped me learn to love myself because it was, it was almost acknowledging that the universe was working in my favor and bringing all these amazing things to me, which I didn't even know about at that point. And all I had to do was just love myself. So really I dated myself for a year, um, but I still am. <laughs> so a lot of people will say you need to like date yourself. And this is really turning into a breakup video and I really didn't want it to because obviously self love comes in so many different forms, but this is just my experience. So I dated myself for a year. And what I did in that was just really take some time for myself. So, you know, not shut myself away from people, but you know, I worked on my life. I looked at my life and was like, what is no longer serving me? What is not making me happy? And a lot of that was either friends or work circumstances or stuff like that. So I just changed all of it. Anything I wasn't happy with, I changed. And it was almost like, clockwork it just almost suddenly clicked and then everything i was like oh my god i feel really happy i feel really like i haven't felt like this in years and then because i was doing the positive affirmations and like being your you're beautiful you're loved blah 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 um it just slowly sort of fell into place now i'm not saying that this is going to happen in a week this has taken me a year to perfect so hopefully it might be a bit quicker for you now I'm telling you what I've done in a really condensed video, but it does take time and it takes practice. Even now I still have to do practices most days to maintain it, to be on top because shit happens in your life. You know, people are idiots. Situations happen, like you can't just nail self love and then be like sweet sorted for life. It is a constant, constant, you know, routine you have to perfect in order to maintain that to not be affected by things. Like now when something bad or bad happens, it's a positive because it's leading me to something greater. You know, it's meant to happen and the universe is bringing me something far greater. And it's like, if I miss out on anything or I'm disappointed that something hasn't happened, it doesn't matter because the universe is bringing me something far greater, which, you know, is better is better than I ever imagined or asked for. So it's really about how you perceive things and allowing yourself to make those mistakes. Like not giving yourself a hard time and thinking, I'm only human, I'm learning. And God, I'm only 23, so of course I'm still learning. And why should I beat myself up when I am just learning life lessons, really? So the practices I have done, like I said, was the affirmations. Um, and then what I used to do, what I still do now actually, is go get a massage each month at my local like beauty place just to, you know, give my body that love and be like, yeah, like have a treat sort of thing. And then I made a better effort with my appearance. You know, if you look at my videos from a year ago, I'm so different and i'm not saying that everyone has to have a glamorous makeover to love yourself that's not what i'm saying but that's what felt right for me and now i take such pride and enjoy doing my makeup i enjoy doing my hair and it makes me feel like i'm making an effort and i don't have anyone to make an effort for well apart from selena chris and isabella and my family but do you know what i mean like i haven't got a man to make an effort for but i'm doing it for myself to give myself that respect and be like you know yeah you do deserve to have your hair done you do deserve to look nice you do deserve to have nice clothes and also what i like to do on a daily basis to maintain sort of self-love and everything like that is EFT. So you've heard me bang on about it before with Brad Yates. I will link his channel down below. But for me, I love doing those videos because it just puts me straight back into that vibe of self-love and self-respect. And once you're in that perfect vibe, no one, no matter what 
anybody says can it doesn't touch you it doesn't hurt you and i love that because you know we are the ones who fulfill ourselves and like i said that's why i've needed this year to just work on me because i've had five years of ignoring a lot of issues and a lot of bad stuff that happened in my life and it just kind of all built up to a point of yeah you're screwed so <laughs> like i've needed this year to perfect this and you know jumping into new relationships and jumping into new situations to try and force things oh my god it does not work you know thinking like oh i'm gonna be so self-loved and so fulfilled when someone loves me bollocks you've got to do it for yourself no one can love you until you love yourself and it's you know it's that famous phrase but it is so right if you can't love yourself how can you expect anybody else to love you and since I've developed that love for myself and respect like all my friends I have now in my life even my family like our relationships are so full of love we tell each other we love each other and I've just never had that before and even with my followers like you guys tell me you love me and I tell you I love you and I've never had that before and it seems so surreal. The one way I kind of manifested that or worked on it as such was my friend Selena, who you've all seen, Isabella's mum, said to me, you know, when she was manifesting Isabella and her partner Chris, that she would just, you know, thank the universe every day for the love that was coming into her life. So I started to do that. I would just wake up every day and thank the universe for the love that was coming into my life. And, you know, although my husband didn't like miraculously appear because it, it's not the right time. And I've always said it will always be after the year mark because that's just how my life works for some reason. Everything takes a year. I, you know, I, I never pinpointed it to the love is my husband, I pinpointed it to just the feeling of love. So when you're saying like, you know, thank you for the love that's coming into my life, do not imagine a husband, do not imagine specific things like children or wanting to get pregnant or, you know, partners, marriages, relationships, no. Imagine it as the feeling of love because when I pinpointed it to a husband, nothing happened because he just wasn't meant to come into my life at that point. So I wasn't manifesting any love. So by just saying, thank you for the love that is coming into my life, it was just bringing so much love. So it brought love with my work. I found new love for my work, new passion, and the people I work with were giving me love, which was so surreal. Then with my friends, like I said, love came about, loving relationships with friends came about, and you know, loving loyal relationships with my friends, which I never had before. And then with my family, love started coming in and like you know we have such a strong relationship now which we've never had before so and literally like you know like I said I think I spoke about this in one of my other videos I said this phrase I said and all of you started commenting that you loved me and I was like thank you but this is weird so you when you just make it generic as such you just allow so much more to come into your life than just a husband, a child or whatever. So you need to make it broad. And I keep seeing this everywhere of people saying like, don't ask for a specific car. Don't ask for a nice house. Don't ask for things. Just ask for wealth, health and happiness. And no matter what, it will come to you. Because if you pinpoint your manifestations on such significant little things of, I want to manifest a white Range Rover, you're blocking yourself from such higher greatness of wealth and other things you could have by just manifesting a white Range Rover. So my top tips, I guess, for helping you to maintain your self-love and to gain self-love if you're like me and didn't have any, um, would just be give it time. Like, don't beat yourself up if you're not in love with yourself within a week. <laughs> It, it does take time. It took me at least a good month, I would say, to really feel like positive changes and be like, oh yeah, I do respect myself. Um, but you will notice once you have that respect and that love, you attract so much more amazing stuff into your life. And I think you need to nail this and nail gratitude first before you start man like asking for things. Like ask for stuff, of course, but don't expect it to happen until you've mastered this um, because you need to, like I said, you've got to be on that good vibe. You've got to be in the vortex. You've got to be spot on to effortless, effortlessly manifest like I have. Um, so 
you know, it's taken me a while and that's what I want to put across, that it does take time, but self-love is the most important part of all of this. It is the most important thing you can do for yourself. It's the best gift you could ever give yourself in life. And giving, and you know, like people say to me how confident I am. Like a year ago, no, I was having panic attacks. I was freaking out. I was the most self-conscious. I had no confidence whatsoever. And I had probably, no, I had no self-esteem. I had just no respect for myself. And now I'm literally a completely, completely different person. And I am so proud to say that because that's my hard work. That's my dedication to myself over the last year. And by removing the negative influences, by giving myself that love, treating myself as well, like giving myself little treats. I'm not just talking materialistic, but you know, like a nice holiday, a getaway, um, you know, for me, it was like nice clothes and having my hair done because that's, you know, that's what I like, but it can be whatever in your life. It doesn't have to be materialistic, but you know, giving yourself treats, telling yourself you're doing well, give yourself praise, give yourself praise for everything that's happened in your life so far. Like I have got myself through a lot in my life. And I'm the only person who's done that. No one else has helped me. You know, like obviously my parents and family have supported me, yes, and friends have in the past, but I'm I'm the person who got myself through 100% of it. And it's the same in everybody's life. You are the person who gets yourself through these situations and you need to give yourself some credit for that. You know, when my husband and my kids come along and I sound like I'm being really ungrateful, like my life's not amazing now. It is amazing and I'm so grateful for it. But you know, when like the finishing, I don't even wanna say like the missing puzzle pieces cause they're not, but when they do come along, I'm gonna be like, wow, all of that was so worth it. And if I had have met my husband a year ago when I was, you know, I still had all these issues, God, it would not have worked. It would not have, you know, been the relationship I deserved or he deserved. So this is why like, when people say like, oh, I can't manifest love or I can't manifest this, it you need to work on yourself first because if you can't love yourself, no one else can love you. And it's not, you know, you need to be at that place to meet that person. You have to be at the right place in your life to meet that person. And I feel like I'm near, I feel like I'm close. It's definitely this year, 100%. Um, like my gut is just like, it's this year. I've needed this and I'm so glad and I've become so independent. Like before I definitely wouldn't have even gone to London by myself. Now I go up every week by myself. I stay over by myself. I love doing stuff by myself because, and it's funny because for someone like me who always used to want to be around people constantly, I love doing stuff by myself. When I'm, you know, having a relaxing evening to myself or whatever, it's like a little sanctuary for me. I love just giving myself that TLC and, you know, recouping and letting go of anything that's happened in the day or whatever or the week. It's just so needed. You need to take that time out each week to give yourself just some little TLC time, pamper yourself. Obviously, like I know I've spoken about really feminine stuff, but like do a face mask, have a cocktail, have a pamper evening, but do it by yourself. Don't do it with other people because you need to develop that self-love by yourself. No one else can give you that. You have to do it by yourself. So I don't advise doing it with girlfriends or like friends or mates or whatever. I would say do it by yourself because then you're not relying on other people to give you happiness and that's what I really want to put across. You do not rely on anybody to give you happiness or self-love. You give it to yourself and if you can't give it to yourself, you're not doing it right and you've got to give it to yourself because at the end of the day, if marriage wasn't a thing or reproducing wasn't a thing or I don't know, like our purpose was just to be here you've all you've got. Like literally, you are the only person who is gonna take yourself through your entire life, be there for yourself. So you've gotta be a bloody good friend to yourself and you've gotta be happy in yourself. And once you do establish that self-love and that happiness and that fulfillment, your whole life will change. Like for me, obviously I have lost weight, but I was so unhappy in my body. And then as soon as I just got happy and loved myself, the weight just, 
disappeared overnight. Like I didn't do any exercise, I didn't eat healthier, it just disappeared. So for people who ask me about weight loss as well, it's all about loving yourself for exactly how you are right now. And even now at this weight, I, you know, it, it is just a thing of our society of we look at people like, oh, I wish I looked like that. Oh, I could be thinner. Oh, I could do this. But now I'm just like, sod it. I fucking love cake. I absolutely love cake and I'm gonna eat it <laughs> because frankly, it makes me happy. And I encourage you to do that as well. Fall in love with yourself, literally fall in love with yourself. It's not selfish. It's not egotistical. It's only egotistical if you, uh, materialistic about it I guess of like hey I've got really nice clothes I love myself no I have beautiful skin I have a beautiful face without makeup I have beautiful natural hair and stop comparing yourself to other people I'm gonna do another video about comparison but don't compare yourself to anybody's journey because this is your journey it is unique it is unique to you and nobody else is going to experience it so how can you compare yourself to someone? Because you are beautiful as you. So I love you and I hope you love you too. And I hope this video will help you to develop over time those skills, I guess, to, you know, maintain loving yourself and respecting yourself. But I, it is the best thing you will ever do in your life. So please, please don't give up if it doesn't work within a week. It will take a month or so. Read the magic. There are some great practices in that book. It's by Rhonda Byrne. I'll link it down below. Um, and I hope this video has helped you all, basically. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. And I will see you in my next video, which will be on Friday. Lots of love.